Big game tonight in Brooklyn. Benaj Delaney putting shots up, continuing to lead the Liberty in scoring this season. Natasha Howard has played awfully well since returning to the lineup. She has been red hot. They're going to need that tonight. Sabrina Ionescu as well. That's the big three for the New York Liberty. Taking on the big three for the Phoenix Mercury. Diana Taurasi, all-time great. Three-time WNBA champion. Brittany Griner as well. A championship under her belt. Continuing to lead the way for the Mercury. And you can't forget about their point guard, Skylar Diggins-Smith. This sets the stage for a big-time showdown here at Barclays Center between the team with the fifth-best record in the WNBA and the team with the seventh-best record. Yes, Network proud to present Liberty Basketball as the Liberty host the Phoenix Mercury. Here inside Barclays Center, I'm Michael Grady alongside Ashley Battle. Looking forward to this matchup as 25th anniversary week continues for the New York Liberty. Well, one player for the Liberty that's been playing awfully well since the team's return from the Olympic break is Natasha Howard. Absolutely. Natasha Howard has been terrific since returning to the lineup. She's provided exactly what the Liberty has needed in the post. Just a presence in outside defensively. She's been really active doing everything, whether it's inside scoring layups, outside shooting threes, blocking shots, even magical shots like this. <laughs> Making plays, all smiles there. Natasha Howard finding her groove and acclimating herself with her teammates. Four games since her return from injury. She had 30 points in that first game against her former teammates of Minnesota with 30 points and four rebounds, 10 points in that first game with Seattle on the 18th, 11 points and 13 rebounds on the 20th against that same Seattle squad. And then Sunday, the last game against the Sparks, she had 17 points and 11 rebounds. Again, Natasha Howard finding her group playing in just now her seventh game with her New York Liberty teammates. Now, in that game against the Sparks, Sammy Whitcomb went down with an ankle injury. It's a sprain, and she's going to be out for the next 10 to 14 day that's a big blow for the Liberty coming down the stretch they need to pick up the slack somehow Ashley and one of the ways that they can do that is with a three-point shoot absolutely and Sammy is tremendous it's gonna be a huge loss for the Liberty however the last game they shot 45% and they're gonna need a lot of energy and one person that can bring that is Rebecca Allen who shot tremendous from the field last game at 83% they're going to need a lot from her. Absolutely. Shooting nearly 40% the three point range. Speaking of Rebecca Allen, but the three point field goals for the Liberty this season. Come on now. Sunday set a new franchise record with 16. That's not the record which was set July 5th against the Dallas Wings. And four times in franchise history, they have hit 14 three pointers in the 258 three point field goals made this season. That's just one shy of the team record. Pretty good chance that falls tonight. Maybe in the first quarter, maybe in the first half, but it certainly looked for the Liberty to knock down those shots from deep. Okay, let's talk about your friend. Oh, boy. One of the greats, one of the <laughs> best of all time, Diana Taurasi. Going to be a handful for the Liberty. And she's always a handful. But prior to the Olympics, she was out with a hip injury. Post games, she's been on a complete terror. Very efficient from all three levels. And she's really been patient, letting the game come to her, not forcing anything, and most importantly, getting to the line. You know what Diana Taurasi does out there on the floor. Take a look at her teammates. This is the big three for the Mercury. Brittany Griner leading the way with just under 21 points and 10 rebounds a game. Over two blocks a game. Skylar Diggins-Smith, 18.5 points, 3.4 rebounds, and five assists per night. And then Diana Taurasi, 39 years young, 15.7 points, shooting 32% from three, also dishing out 4.5 dimes per game. Coming up, starting lineup, opening tip, big time game with potential playoff implications. We'll all have it for you after this timeout. It's the Liberty and the Mercury. It's coming up next right here. New York Liberty basketball on yes is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Back inside Barclays Center, Michael Grady, Ashley Battle. We take a look at the starting lineup. 
for tonight's game. We'll start with the Liberty. Sabrina Ganescu, Rebecca Allen in the backcourt. Allen getting her seventh start of the season. Sammy Whitcomb again out 10 to 14 days with that ankle sprain. Natasha Howard in the middle. Rookie Michaela Onyenwede. And then the leading scorer for the Liberty this season, Banaja Laney. As for the Mercury battle, your former college teammate, Diana Tarazi, the goat there at one guard with Skylar Diggins Smith, Brittany Griner in the middle, Brianna Turner, and Kia Nurse, former Liberty guard and all star with the Liberty at one time. Now with the Mercury. And also a UConn alum. Also, there's a lot of UConn. There's uh, a lot of us here today. A lot of UConn blood in this game, and I know you're going to be talking about it early and often. So. You know it. Just know I'm going to try to talk a lot during this broadcast. Just, just, <laughs> just know that there's a UConn chant that's coming somewhere throughout this broadcast. <laughs> I could probably drown out all the noise at the building. A lot of UConn blood in the building. Sandy Brondello, a former WNBA player, was an all-star, won a championship at head coach in her first season with the Phoenix Mercury back in 2014. And then there you see Walt Hopkins and Ashley trying to get his players to regroup, refocus, and be more connected down the stretch of the season. Absolutely. I mean, it's just a tough loss losing Sammy for 10 to 14 days. And they're going to have to regroup and connect. And she covered a lot of space and energy and points on the floor. So it's going to be interesting to see where that, where they make that up at. Yeah, we talked about the three-point shooting in the open. We know that Jimmy Wickham uh, does extremely well in that department, leading the WNBA in three-pointers made. But Rebecca Allen has really stepped up with the three-point shooting coach joke before the game that Rebecca's going to have to knock down Sammy Freeze and her own. So she's got big shoes. That's a, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> she, she made five last game. That's pretty, that's pretty good. But now she got to make ten. <laughs> And Phoenix pretty tough on the defensive side of the ball. So this will be one heck of a battle there as the opening tip. They're going to re-jump. Officials, Amy Bonner, Jeffrey Smith, Brandon Schwab for tonight's game. Amy tosses it up again, and the Mercury control. you got to imagine they got a 99%, 99.9% .9 rate of winning those opening tips. Diana fired right away, and only the way they pulls down the board. I'm going to go with 100%. 100%. I don't, I don't think folks are going to jump it. <laughs> nice pass inside. Yo, let's do it. Getting the scoring started for the Liberty off the feed from Laney. The Mercury, they've won their last four games, currently fifth in the WNBA standing. Steal there from Rebecca Allen with the quick hands. Howard on the baseline, pulling up. Strong on the shot attempt, rebound to turn. Rossi laying it up and putting it through. And how has she still been able to get it done after all these years? She picks her spots. And now she's not as quick. Not that Dean was ever quick, but now that, you know, she's not, she picks her spots, picks her angles. Um, and I think as you feel, with the game, you, you know how to be more efficient in your shot taking. Still finding a way at 39 years young. Brittany Griner again, averaging nearly 21 points a game. Gets her first bucket of the contest, and that puts the Mercury ahead. Ionescu firing away, in and out. There's Tarasi pushing it up again. We talked a lot about the importance of this stretch. Both teams going out. Phoenix again, they've won their last four. Stiff competition there at the top. They do not want to slip. Howard. They're working the ball around. Wide open is Laney. And off the front of the rim, no good. Tipping by Howard is short. Now oh, Skylar Diggins Smith. She doesn't have numbers, but she attacks Allen, puts it through. Tough bucket by Diggins Smith. That was a pretty good thing. We finish it with our off hand, the Skyler's left hand, and we finish it with the right. 6 2 Phoenix. Second meeting of the season. Allen short on the shot attempt. The Liberty won the first game of the team in June back in Phoenix. Diggins Smith, oh my goodness. She's playing awfully well, and Hopkins wants to talk things over already. 9 2. 
in the early going here at Barclays Center. Diggin Smith with five quick points for the Mercury. Back in a moment on Yes. 9-2 early first quarter here at Barclays Center, Ashley, as we look at the first bucket for the Liberty in this game. And you see Minaj is telling her, cut to the basket, cut to the basket. You got a oh. wide open layup. <laughs> And sometimes you don't know you're open. You need your teammates to tell right. you that you're open. That's a, you got to have your eyes up because she was fortunately looking at Benaji and saw that right. head nod. I cut. Like, I got you. <laughs> About three minutes played in this opening quarter. Shot from your nest who won't fall. Offensive board, though. Ten on the shot clock. Allen trying again. Knocks down the triple. Maybe she heard Coach Wolf. Starting early. Got to knock down those three. She's done a terrific job of that in her last three games headed in. 13 threes in the last three. And a foul inside. By the way, that Allen three now ties the franchise record for three point field goals made in a single season. Something in my gut is telling me that they're going to break it tonight. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe they shoot a lot of threes. I don't know. You said early on it might be in this opening quarter. Reiner, who has 13 double-doubles this season, knocking down the first free throw. She's shooting 82.4% from the free throw line. That's a great luxury to have. You're big, you shoots really well from the line, and Brittany gets in the line very often. And that just really doesn't happen that, that much where your your center is, is a that great of a shooter. shooter. Okay, that much more confident in battling inside. But Naja Laney getting blocked. The Phoenix third in the WNBA in points allowed this season. Diggin Smith once again hocking down the lay-in. In the first meeting between these two teams, she had 25, 6, and 5. And she's starting this game hot. Front iron no for Allen. Oh, Turner, defense is special, bringing it up. And Reiner, oh, too easy. Too easy inside, breaking free. Way too easy. Liberty's not getting back on defense. There's a lack of communication and guarding. And if you're going to do that, it's going to be a very difficult game. John DeGray getting ready to check in. Allen, not shy in terms of putting up shots. That's her fourth attempt in this opening quarter. And she'll be rewarded with free throws. That's one thing I really enjoy about Rebecca Allen's game is that she's always aggressive. There's never a moment where she's not attacking. And Liberty's going to need that to get back into the game. This is the first free throw attempt. It's Gray checks in. The Mercury hit six of their first eight field goals in this game. Meanwhile, the Liberty just two for ten. And they got great looks. It's not like they don't have really good looks at the basket. They just gotta knock them down. Short on the couple. Rosie Handler, former Liberty guard nurse. Inside the grinder. Oh, nice pass. This is how her game has evolved as well because she's a willing passer. Absolutely. And that time you had the double team coming in. And when you have the double team coming in, the weak side has to rotate. You have to help the helper. That's what in basketball terms, help the helper. When the helper goes, another one has to come back and help. Nice pass. Laney, another assist this time to Gray. 17 8 Phoenix in the early going. Midway through this first quarter. Look at Smith. Tough pass stolen by Laney, who knocks it off the grinder and out of bounds. Right, and that's a Rare high pick. There. There. That's a high pick in the roll right there. And the Shonda Gray is going to have to step up to contest that because you have Diana Tarasi and Skyler Diggins Smith that are coming off that pick and roll that are not afraid to, to shoot off the dribble and shoot that three. All a part of being connected, understanding your assignment. Allen may have been blocked there. Tarasi certainly altered the shot. And another feed inside. Turner going at Onion Wade and puts it through. 19-8 Phoenix. 
Laney on the attack. On his way back to Laney. Pulling up. And out was strong. Liberty just cannot find the shot. Meanwhile, Phoenix get easy looks. They are 7-7 seven seven in the paint. And Tarasi misses from deep. Here's nearly 73 percent in this game. Nice answer right there. Ionescu, but Liberty caught sleeping in a dunk from Brittany Griner. BG! Left her wide open. BG! Allen missing on the shot at 10. It was big time when my voice goes another octave. That's not normal, man. <laughs> That's not, that's not normal at all. As Diggin Smith knocks down the trifecta. One would have thought they would be tired off of a long road trip. No, the Knicks, they came to play today. Big time. By the way, 15th career dunk for Brittany Griner. Floater from Ionescu won't fall. And Phoenix certainly the more aggressive team right now. Another three, this time from Tarasi. That won't fall. It's a 14-point advantage for the Mercury. Rashonda Gray driving inside, blocked by Griner, but some contact. And Gray will go to the free throw line. Before the game, one of the things that Joe Hopkins talked about was reflecting on the Sparks game, he didn't like the lack of physicality that his team had. And the Sparks at some point started pushing the Liberty around. And instead of responding and pushing back, he felt like his team got a little frazzled. Right, and there was a lot of aggressiveness from the Sparks in that game where Benaja Laney ended up on the ground a couple times, and, and, and sometimes as a teammate, other teammates would come and, you know, maybe give them a little, a little shove or a little nudge, you know, letting the, letting the other team know that that's not okay. It's not okay to throw my teammate down. It's not okay to, to do those things, and I think one was expecting a little bit of that response versus kind of standing back and not being as aggressive and meeting their aggressiveness. Something they absolutely need to work on. Didi Richards is taken to the game, and Didi has been really special since the team returned. Oh, she has been, and, and I really like it. She brings energy, she communicates, and I think you know, she she's probably the... Oh, no. oh it's Dia Vaughn. Another former, former Liberty, Liberty player. player. Knocking down the turnaround and going to the free throw line, drawing the foul on Rashonda Gray. But Dee Dee Richardson, she, she's one person that I think can contest Diana because she's long, she can use her length, and, she, and she's quick and can keep up with her and can fight and get over screens. So I think that would be an interesting matchup. Tia Vaughn completing the three-point play, extending this lead for the Mercury to 16. Nice pass, Laney left hand, left it strong, rolls off the front of the rim, and Diggin Smith has pushed the tempo. Yeah, Phoenix certainly been the aggressive team in the early going. Liberty got to find their way as Diggin Smith is not slowing down at all. No, you can't go underneath the screens on Diggins, Diana. You just you just can't do it. They'll make you pay every time. Richards handling. Yeah, she's been much more assertive and efficient since returning from the Olympic break. Ionescu, yeah, this is a swarm of defense in Phoenix, as you can see here. Ionescu with a step back three, that's a tough shot. And offensive board to Allen. Richards knocks down the triple. Staying red hot. Again, Didi Richards doing her thing since returning from this Olympic break. Pass inside to Yvonne, knocking down the layup. And going back to uh, Richard, she is now eight for nine from the floor since that August 15th game when the team returned. Oh, Didi has been fantastic, and and it's just great to see because uh, oftentimes, you know, right now it's like you're not a rookie anymore because the season has been so elongated because of the Olympic break. And she hasn't played like one either, so it's been really great to watch. Gray can't knock down the three. Didi Richards had the offensive board, but too strong of a pass to Gray. And Phoenix with the throw. 
And you can see here, no one comes out to Didi, and she's like, okay, I'll make you pay. Splash. And you talk about the assertiveness. She was getting looks in the early going. You know, she wasn't getting a ton of minutes, but she was getting looks, but she wasn't necessarily taking shots. Now she feels like she has the green light and is being assertive enough to take those shots. Right, and you can tell earlier in the pregame warm-up, she's always one of the first people out here that's shooting, getting reps in, and it's starting to pay off because now she's starting to hit those shots in games. Confidence is growing. Rossi layup extends this lead to 19 for the Mercury. Under a minute to go in this first quarter. Tough pass to Rashonda Gray and it's stolen away. Phoenix running. Cunningham open layup. Stopped on a dime and put it through. This is way too easy. Communication defensively just not there. And another three. Titty Richards. Maybe, Something to build on. Maybe Walt meant Didi's gonna have to pick up Sammy's, <laughs> Sammy's slack. And it's a turnover. Tarasi not happy with the no call. Didi three for three. In the early going of this ball game. Eight points in three minutes for Didi Richards. And it's a 35 to 19 lead for Phoenix at the end of the first quarter. We saw more history in this game. 15th career dunk for Brittany Griner. Throwing down the one-hander. Big lead for Phoenix after one on Yes. Fans, the next Liberty game on Yes is next Thursday, September 2nd, as the Seafoam Green heads to Seattle for a late-night rematch with Brianna Stewart, Sue Bird, and the Storm Covered starts at 10 o'clock on Yes and streaming on the Yes app. Second quarter action, Michael Grady, Ashley Battle here with you. And the quarter starts with an offensive foul. Kyla Shook. Tough screen there. It gives it back to Phoenix. They lead 35 to 19. They were 12 for 12 in the paint in that first quarter. First possession of the second quarter. Mercury ends with the miss. Kia Vaughn. Nestor pushing. Still guarded. Shea Petty outside pass. GD. And Nate Odom also in the game right now. And there's a triple in that first quarter, Ashley. We saw the Liberty knock down three threes. New franchise record. Three pointers. I think they're going to demolish this record. They're going to demolish this record. <laughs> Six games to go after this. Laney lost the handle and is stolen away. 8-0 run by the Liberty trying to chip away at this third, now 13. Rossi on the drive. Nice hands. That was Didi Richards. Hold him. Going right at Vaughn. Can't get it to fall, but she'll go to the free throw line. And again, that's the matchup that I want to see is Dee Dee on Diana and how she's going to use her limb to get in there. And, and as you can see, Dee Dee strips uh, Dee. Dee strips D. How about that for a tongue twister? <laughs> and starts it and creates the break. They owed him knocking down the first free throw substitutions. Kia Nurse, Rihanna Turner. And Brittany Griner, who again had a dunk in that first quarter, the 15th of I'll, her career. How cool is that? Uh, right. Came out of nowhere, too, on an unconventional fast break situation. Right. Where Liberty had a made basket, and she still broke She's free. trotting down, like, <laughs> like no one sees her. She's 6'9", just trotting down, no one sees her. And gets a wide open dunk. Now working on Shook, turning inside through the double team, missed it, rebound Laney. 11 point game. Largest was 19 for the Mercury. Vanessa to Laney. Laney trying to find some space, knocks down the mid range. Jay, the Liberty cut it to single digits. 12 nothing. Liberty run and Brittany Griner too physical. And the Mercury turned it over. 
A little bit of an opening here, Ashley, is the Liberty finding some confidence. That's the second foul on Brittany Griner. This is a tale of two quarters right here from the Liberty, and this is this is great because they're getting back into the game, doing playing Liberty basketball, shooting threes, playing tough defense, and getting easy baskets. Outside shot, Yunescu rolls out, rebound Griner. Again, starters back in the game for Mercury to try to stop the bleeding a little bit. So Liberty finding some light. Oh, Hezzy. The Hezzy from Skylar Dickens Smith. Ew, it was like, it was so nice. I Went in, looked away. <laughs> was back to double digit lead for the Mercury. Nestle struggling with the shot in the early going. Puts that one under the backboard, out of bounds. Nestle now two for eight. And Skyler driving to the right, looks away, freezes everybody, and clears clears the lane right to the basket. That was nice. It was. I better see that on the uh, Instagram. <laughs> With the heavy. The heavy. Griner working inside, and she will go to the free throw line. She's already two for two. Brittany Griner has eight points, three rebounds in this game so far. And with Brittany, you have to be physical with her. You can't let her catch it so deep in the post. If she catches it there, it's over. The only thing you could do is either let her score or foul her. And she's shooting 88% from the line. So I don't know if fouling her is a great option. <laughs> Awfully efficient for charity strike. More starters checking back in the game for the Liberty as Natasha Howard checks back in. Right, here we go, one. And second unit of getting it done so far for the Liberty in this game. 16 points for the bench. Just 10 for the Liberty starter. Starters for New York. You've got to get it in high gear. Right. And that's and that's awesome to have your bench do really well and get you back in the game. But in the end, it's gonna have to be the the starters, that's going to finish the game. And that one off the mark for Allen. Ball, loose ball foul. Keep it here. And that foul is on Diana Tarasi. Loose ball foul. first for Diana. Rebecca Allen wide open underneath. They missed her a little bit early. She was down there for a long time. Uh, ends up missing it. You have, there's no way you can contain Natasha Howard. <laughs> A little bear hug there. Yeah. <laughs> Not allowed. It's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> Three on the shot clock. Gonna have to put it up quick. Dee Dee. Dee Dee, she's been hitting everything off. I thought that was oh, one in. Put that off the window. A rare miss from Dee Dee Richards. Turner. With the turn around, no good. Richards with the rebound. Almost lost the hand of one professional, Skylar Diggins Smith. Lane, working with Howard. Elbow jumper. And that one, Shelby put that one in. Another offensive rebound. Nice pass. Allen can't get it to fall. But she'll go to the free throw line. That's a great action by the Liberty, though. Being aggressive on the offensive boards, getting extra possessions, and hitting covers onto the basket. Supernatural working really hard to get that offensive rebound as she sees Rebecca Allen coming to the basket. Oh. Oh. Rolls right off of the rim. Four offensive rebounds in this first half already. First free throw for Rebecca Allen. That goes to her. Rebecca's been finding her shot because she was hurt just before that Olympic break. Was dealing with a knee injury, excuse me, a foot injury. And again, the 13 3 in the last three games, starting to find her touch. But collectively, as well, Hawkins mentioned before the game, we tend to wake them out 10 to 14 days. Collectively, everyone is going to have to step up because this is a start by 10 to 14 days. Two can stretch. Of the end of this regular season. Beauty takes a big time hit. Wide open look for Diana Tarasi. And she puts that through. 42 28 advantage now for the Mercury. Right. That's a play that the 
Phoenix does all the time where Diana passes through. And it looks like an uh, offensive foul. Another turnover for the Liberty. That gives it back to Phoenix. Hopkins not happy with the previous possession. It's a 14-point lead for the Mercury. 42-28 with 5.32 to go in this opening half. Phoenix controlling this game. Big reason why is their starters have been really outplaying the starters for the New York Liberty in this early going. 14 points for Skylar Dickens. We have 10 points for Brittany Griner. Leading the score for the Liberty. Edie Richards off the bench. Brittany Griner puts another one through. Now we saw the replay just before that timeout of that contact Rennie really had with Diddy Richards. I think Walt Hopkins has a legitimate, a legitimate beef on potentially a moving screen. Absolutely. Brittany was definitely not set as they did their inter interchange. Oh, another three for Diddy Richards there. Diddy's on fire. My goodness. That's what she did during the uh, Olympic break. She it's with working. A it's, it's working. It's working. Career high, 11 points. Now for the rookie. And quick hands there is. Sweetie <laughs> Ganesco goes into the crowd. And here was that play before the timeout, Ashley. What do you see here? And you see, you know, definitely BG is moving and catches DD on the nose. Which ends up leading to a wide open three pointer. Yep, for Diana Karasi. So you don't get the foul. This would have been the third foul on Brittany Griner. And insult the injury. Three pointer for Diana Karasi. Turnover there. Laney bringing it up. 44 31. Phoenix, 4 30 to go in this opening half. Nestor <laughs> trying to cross over Turner. And Turner just so good defensively. Takes the pushes. We got to get that low. Smith losing a handle, but still taps it to Turner for the layup. I don't think she meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it just kind of happened. She may argue with you, but yeah, that was that was she's, improvising on the spot. She's definitely going to say, actually, I meant to do no, that. No, I, I saw Turner. <laughs> I saw her the, the entire time. That's where the pass is going. Laney stopping on a dime and putting it through. But Naja Laney. Up to four points now. She's really been struggling with her shot lately. Coming into the game, she had hit just five of the previous 24 attempts. Oh, look. Oh, oh Reiner, oh. another one. Russ missed yeah, don't uh, call there. a huge hook. 48-33. Laney, quick outside. Allen for three, won't fall. Rebound to Kia Nurse. Nurse pushing it despite no numbers, and it's not that a bounce. Not a foul called on Unescu. You see Nurse not happy about it. All right, it's the hook. As you can see talking. right here. Hook. Oh, ooh, y'all. Goodness, that was, that was blatant. On and shoulder blade. Look at Walt. Hook. <laughs> He's screaming in the background. Hook. I don't know how that was missed. Fourteen seconds to work with and Natasha Howard. Great defensive play in her own right. Gets the steal. Euro land falls. Great nice. sequence on both ends for Howard. Absolutely. And I think the Liberty has to get her a little bit more involved. Now this you can tell they're still figuring things out on the offensive end. Since Natasha's returned to the lineup. In and out there for Griner. Offensive board Turner. Diggins Smith. No good. Now it's Howard again. Pulling up for three. Capable three point shooter. Puts it through. Ten point game. Under two and a half to go in this first half. And Sandy Brondello wants to talk things over. Some passion for the Liberty. And this is Natasha Howard with the steal. Taking it in and just hustling all the way down for the Euro and the layup. And then you know what? She says, I'm not done. I can shoot this tray too. Back here at Barclays Center, the Mercury leading the Liberty 48-38. Liberty going on a run though and 
again celebrating 25th anniversary of the Liberty and you see some legends there in the front row Kim Hampton sang the national anthem Rebecca Lobo there and then Teresa Weatherspoon we got legendary Cash role. down there Lisa Willis Lisa Willis had a book signing and they're all here for Crystal Robinson sixth overall pick by New York three final appearances an absolute legend being honored tonight. She was a part of the trivia the other day that they tried to stump me on, but didn't. Not try. <laughs> Cap Dragon writes once again. Huh? We're back at it. Do not play around with trivia. Wild sequence there is called going back to Phoenix. Under two minutes to go now. Diggin Smith and Turner back outside. Ball movement. Rossi left hand. Yeah, you know, you you go out because you think she's going to shoot the three, and again, she it's not like she's moving extremely fast. She just takes her time, a couple of dribbles, and lays it in. There's a foul there inside. Howard's going to get a look at the free throw line. And, and you're talking about it again. You know Diana extremely well, former college team weight, teammates, still great friends. As you get older, you get wiser. Your bag expands, as you mentioned. The speed may, may not be there. These other little things may not be there, but she makes up for it in so many other different ways. Oh, absolutely, and and you can tell right there. She just takes her time, rips through, takes two dribbles, layup, and she's still cre creatively. She still can creatively finish around the rim. So that's never going to go away. But how she gets there is going to change. And this was just this was easy pickup basketball right there. 50 to 40. Minute 20 to go in the second quarter. And foul there. Rebecca Allen too close. 21 field goals for Phoenix in this first half. Actually, no surprise, 17 of them in the paint. I mean, come on. I mean, they do a very great job of burying people in the paint, scoring, and I think threes are almost a secondary as Diana hits another three. Inside, outside, being working to perfection. Tasha Howard scored the last seven points for New York. On his way on the drive, puts it in. Under a minute to go in the first half. 53-42. Coming up in the half, we'll have Crystal Robinson's Ring of Honor induction. We'll also have stats and first-half analysis. And a bunch of a travel on there, no? Jump ball. Oh, jump ball. I don't know about that. I mean, the jump ball, yes, it did occur. However, there may have been a travel. <laughs> may have been an extra step. <laughs> Trying to maybe get away with a little bit. A little, a little bit. <laughs> Did she mean to do that? Uh, yeah, she definitely <laughs> meant definitely. to do that. That's that was, the second tap assist we've seen in this first half. That was definitely a set play. Wow. Written with Naja Laney, front iron. 55-42. Dominant first half for the Phoenix Mercury. Allen trying to put pressure on Diggins Smith, who's had a strong first half. Outside pass, tipped away by Laney and out of bounds. And you can see BG's looking at her the entire way. I'm gonna throw it to the rim where only Turner could get it. Nice, easy tip in. What a luxury that is. Oh, nice defense. Blocked by Rebecca Allen, leading the team in blocks. Yonescu firing for three, no. And Laney's not going to get it off in time, won't fall anyway. And at the end of the first half, Phoenix leading 55-42. Coming up at the half, she is a Liberty legend. And in a moment, she's going where she belongs. The Ring of Honor here at Barclays Center. Halftime, Liberty basketball here on Yes.
the Mercury leading the Liberty 55-42. It is time now for the Crystal Robinson Ring of Honor ceremony as we send it down to the floor and public address announcer Ron Kish. Please direct your attention to center court and welcome Fox 5's Tina Servasio for a very special presentation. Good evening, Liberty fans. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> so the New York Liberty Ring of Honor, which debuted in 2011 to celebrate the Liberty's 15th WNBA season, recognized retired players who have made the most significant contributions to the Liberty's tradition of excellence and the growth of the WNBA. And my goodness, can you believe we are in the 25th anniversary season of this powerful professional sports league? There are currently six members of the Liberty Ring of Honor. And get these names, and some of them are here tonight. Becky Hammond, Kim Hampton, Vicki Johnson, Rebecca Lobo, Teresa Witherspoon, and Sue Wicks. Tonight, we will induct the seventh member of this elite circle. Liberty fans right now, please direct your attention to the main video board. I, I really hope that every time we go to a gym to play, that the, the girls in the locker room think, dang, we have to play the Liberty tonight. Rebound, Witherspoon, fires it ahead to Robinson. Robinson for three, it's good! Crystal Robinson gives the Liberty their first lead of the game! No one in the league wanted to play us, and every, you could ask anyone in the league who that least favorite team was, and they would say us. Selected sixth overall in the 1999 WNBA Draft, Crystal C. Rob Robinson, a 5'11 forward out of Southeastern Oklahoma State University, spent seven seasons with the New York Liberty. On July 24th, 1999, she broke the Liberty record for the most three-point field goals made in a single game when she drained seven against the Los Angeles Sparks. <laughs> Alongside Liberty legends Teresa Weatherspoon, Sue Wicks, and Becky Hammond, Robinson helped lead the Liberty to four consecutive straight playoff berths, and three WNBA Finals appearances. Liberty fans, let's give a warm round of applause for the seventh inductee into the Liberty Ring of Honor, Crystal Robinson! So happening right now, <laughs> uh, Liberty fans, as they, as we present to Crystal, uh, her ring of honor ring, let me just introduce and everyone please also welcome the governor of the New York Liberty, Clara Wusai, New York Liberty CEO, Kia Clark, and season ticket member, Donna Brown. And ladies and gentlemen, the star of the evening, Crystal. I won't keep you guys long. This is such an honor to be inducted with such a wonderful class of people. I can tell you that being a part of the New York Liberty was probably one of some of the most special memories that I've had. We were like sisters, we were like family, um, and we believed in fighting together, winning together, and no one cared who got the responsibility or who got the awards. Um, when I came to New York, I came from a town of 400 people. I was a hard worker, 
But after a little bit time getting beat up by Spoon and Sue and VJ them, I learned real fast what a New York state of mind is. <laughs> and now everything I do, I do it with a New York state of mind. And when I say that, I mean I make up my mind that I'm ready, ready to put in whatever work it takes to achieve and to gain whatever I want. And that's something that I'll take away from New York forever. You fans have been fantastic, some of the best fans in the world, and the memories that I will take with me will last forever. Thank you guys for the support, and thank you for having me. Can I go? All right, ready? All right, yes. All right everyone ready? Ready, Liberty fans? Please direct your attention now to the LED rings as we unveil Crystal Robinson's name and number into the Ring of Honor. New York Liberty basketball on Yes is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Michael Brady, Ashley Battle, getting ready for second half action. Mercury leading the Liberty 55 to 42. Let's get you some New York Liberty trivia. I know this is, Ashley Battle, this is your favorite time of the game. Let's go, trivia! Hashtag Liberty on yes. You can answer the question, send us a tweet, use hashtag Liberty on yes. All right, Crystal Robinson is sixth on the franchise steals list with 232. Who are the top five players? Top five? That's, oh, that's good a luck, lot. I feel like, hey, I, I mean, feel like. I mean, come on, y'all. Five people. The Liberty truck is coming for your throat, They actually. are coming they for are me because I've been talking you. a lot of mess. You've been talking. <laughs> Again, Crystal Robinson, sixth on the franchise steals list. Got to name the five ahead of her as we welcome in the newest member of the Ring of Honor for the New York Liberty, Crystal Robinson. So good to have you. How you doing? We'll get you. We get. We'll get your mic situated again. Krista Robinson, kind of join us. We'll get. We'll get her on. Again, the seventh member of the New York Liberty Ring of Honor. His third quarter action gets underway. She puts it through. Let's test that mic. Jesse. There she. <laughs> there, there we are. Here I am. Uh, what, yeah. what did it mean to you, Krista, to be added to the Ring of Honor? But it just. It just. You know, you work so hard for these things. Like, I, you don't think about them in the time, but we, our team put in a lot of work, and we worked really hard, and it's just an honor to be to be alongside your teammates. And to have some of them here tonight. How special was that? Uh, I have a lot of them here. It's great, because I haven't seen some of them since we played together. So, yeah, here. no, Tamika Whitmore, I haven't seen her since we played. So it's awesome. The, not, the, the Ring of Honor was great, but seeing them was even better. <laughs> it's so great to have you here, C Rod. Like, I'm so happy for you, so proud of you. And if you reflect on the last 25 years of the league, you know, what were some of your favorite memories? Um, shoot, there are so many. That you could tell on there. <laughs> yeah, that, there are so <laughs> many. There's so many great memories. I, you know, it's, it's a, but my best and worst memory in the, in the league is uh, when Spoon hit that long shot. No one remembered that I scored 21 straight points after Spoon hit that shot. It was like, I was so elated and like, oh, at the same time. But it, it was, it was great. It was hilarious. 21 straight, though, straight out there getting buckets. That's why you're the all-time right, leading right. three-point shooter. <laughs> And I love the honesty there, too. Like, oh, man, every, that, that's the replay you see. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We got, you were the cooking. W. we got the W. That's what matters. That was, a, that was a special, special moment. 63-42 lead. Mercury off to a hot start in this third quarter. What was, was, that, was that your favorite team that particular season? I, Is there a year that stands out? or? I got to honestly tell you, I, find, I can find a reason to love every team that I played on with that era with this group of girls we just found ways to win i won't say every night we were matched up and we had, were most talented at every position but there was no one going to come in the gym and outwork us and hard work makes up for a lot of things sometimes tasha howard inside can't get that to fall trying to stay with it laney puts it up and through his closet 
pitch the floor. So tell me a little bit about your thoughts on this current team, what you like, what you think they can improve on. Let us know. Well, I think that this current team has a, a lot of talent. Um, one of the things that they're definitely going to have to prove on, they have to play defense much harder than that. People throw the ball where they want without much of a fight. And in this league, you know, you played in this league, your best line of defense is to keep your man from catching it. Absolutely. So, you know, that's the easiest thing to do. And then I, I, I would like to see Sabrina just probably start off the game with more of a sports mentality. I mean, regardless of anything, I know there's some great scores on that team, but to me, she's still the catalyst. And when she's going and she's playing well, everybody's confidence raises. Mm -hmm. Reiner puts that through. How long does it take Crystal to develop that chemistry and that attitude collectively as a team? If you had great continuity on those Liberty teams, this is a squad that's still figuring things out. Tasha Howard is playing in just her seventh game in the squad. Laney is her first year. Sabrina Yanescu is her second season, but it's really kind of kind of her first. How long does it take to develop that collective attitude? Well, I think that it basically boils down to, you know, Culture. You know, I think the culture that we created, I told these girls this the other day, you got to know where you came from to know where you're going. We created this crazy culture of winning. And when they get back to that hard-nosed basketball, I think, and playing extremely hard on the defensive end of the floor, the winning will take care of itself. 65-47. Mercury on top. What's been keeping you busy these days? Um, I wrote a book. Been uh, on the out bookstore signing books. That's that's about what I'm doing right now. I took a year off of basketball to to promote my memoir. So what what, if, what was the inspiration behind you know you writing your memoir? Well, I wrote it about 10 years ago. The inspiration for putting it out uh, was probably just because I think. In today's world, there's so many negative things in this world today, and I just wanted people to see you can you can get somewhere, but that doesn't mean it was easy. We all go through problems. We all go through struggles. No one's exempt from that. Some people see the end product, but they don't see. And why I say that is that because when you're going through things, they don't last forever. Right. You know, you get to the other side. Keep going. We'll take another look at this Tarazi three-point and a little celebration there afterwards. A little <laughs> shimmy. Tarazi still, still getting it done in this league. Big time bucket right there. Crystal, you again talking about the book and, and the time that she wrote it as we can still pick another three. I shot train her, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some time after this commercial break? I want to ask you one more thing about the book. Okay. That's all right. 71, 49 advantage for the Mercury. More with Crystal Robinson, the newest member of the Liberty Ring of Honor. After this. Back to live action inside Barclay Center. Michael Grady, Ashley Battle, and we're joined by former Liberty great Crystal Robinson. 71 49 advantage right now for the Phoenix Mercury. A couple more questions for you, Crystal. In, in writing the book and then reflecting on your life, what are some things that you learned about yourself? Is there something about that process of putting it on paper? You know your life experience actually i cried a lot i think that i learned how resilient i, am. I think when you look back over your life you learn that you conquer things in those moments you don't think you're going to make them and you just figure it out and and i think that the, the probably another thing that i learned is that we spend a lot of time worrying about a lot of things that don't ever happen <laughs> so. yeah and, and I'm worried about things that just aren't in your control. That's not in your control. So I think that's probably two things that I learned. Approaching five minutes to go in this third quarter. We get a dead ball. We've got another clip to show you, Crystal, before we let you go. As Tarazi knocks down another three. I'm impressed with you with Diana Tarazi, with which she's been able to five gold medals now. And at 39 years old, still get fucked. She's the GOAT. That's all I can say. I, the way my body feels, I can't even imagine still being out there playing right now. And the recovery it might take. So, nothing but love and respect to these people. 58 points uh, between the big three for the Phoenix Mercury. And I know, again, I know you still love the game. You talked about taking a little break from, from basketball. What is, what is the game meant to you in your life? Everything. The game saved my life. Like, I came from basically nothing. And the game 
taught me, gave me an outlet to my anger and pain. It, it just took me around the world and back. I see if we can there. stick a, a clip real quick. We're going to go back, go back a number of years. You brought this up earlier. Uh oh. The shot from Teaspoon. The worst thing it best. in. And then your bottom. There you go. There's a jumping right there. Look, Kim Hampton looks exasperated. And who's the last one to get in on the pile? <laughs> who falls? You mean who falls on the pile? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you see Kim falling and rolling down the pile. Yeah. One of the greatest plays in WNBA history is Lady Knox down the shot. And an uh, all-time great story, too, is, is Christopher Beals. And she scored 21 straight, but nobody talks about No one about says that. nothing about it. Nobody remembers it. Uh, against Cheryl Swoops, might I add. <laughs> Another one Big who's time. deemed as the GOAT. <laughs> what the that's too funny. Ryder working on Tyler Shook. Can't get that one to fall. And ball gets knocked out of bounds. Back with the Mercury Crystal. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you for having really me. Really appreciate it. Thank Pump you the book one more time. Folks can find it. I'm finding myself. It's at Amazon.com. Folks, please go out go and get it. Go check it out. And congratulations, Crystal Rodgers. can't wait to read it. seventh member Thank of the you New York Liberty Ring of Honor. Thank you so much, Crystal. See Rob in the building. Thank you guys. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Outstanding stories and just an unbelievable honor for Christian Robinson tonight being added to the ring of honor as Kia Vaughn misses the shot. 76-56. It's been all Mercury in this third quarter. Laney pulling up from the free throw line and gets the right there. That, was, that went way in the air. 8-0 run. And I think it's oh, the 8 0 run by Laney by oh, herself. By La oh, Laney. I guess one of the fascinating things with this team is Laney picks up the foul right there on the Diggins Smith drive. As Natasha Howard gets added to the lineup, she's not on the floor right now. But Laney was awfully assertive and aggressive in the early going of the season. We know what Sabrina can do. She had issues with the ankle at different times in the early going of the season. But now you add Natasha Howard into the mix. You'll want to see Laney stay assertive. You want to see her aggressive. And then, of course, Natasha needs, needs her looks. On the offensive end, you see a little bit of hesitancy at time in terms of what exactly are we doing? Who's going to be shooting the ball? Right. And I think, you know, I think we have to have a really good job at defining their roles and what is expected of everybody you know, moving forward to add Natasha Howard back into the lineup. And, and adding her to the lineup is a good thing. It's a good thing, you know, you want to have a post presence, someone who can shoot three, someone who can also dominate in the post. And who also is the defensive player of the year that the Liberty so desperately needs help in the paint with that. So it's, it's a good thing to add that. They just got to figure out the timing of who's going to get shots and when they're going to take them and things like that. Janescu's shot makes it an 18 point advantage for the Mercury. And Sandy Brondello wants to talk things over. 2.54 to go in this third quarter. The Mercury, they just come out really strong. And you can tell in their attitude, they have veteran leadership on this roster. Of course, led by Diana Taurasi. Brittany Griner have been around for a long time. Taurasi was talking, heading into this game, about just how Phoenix needs to be locked in. You know, <laughs> Taurasi didn't take a break. You know, coming off the Olympic break. You come from Tokyo, come right over. She's right back into the mix. She understands the playoff implications for them. They would love to more move into that four spot to get perhaps a bye in the first round of that WNBA playoffs. But you can tell the attitude started this third quarter. For oh, absolutely. And they don't want to relinquish this league. You know, they ha everybody has something to fight for right now. Everyone. The Liberty has something to fight for. They stand in playoff contentions. And the Liberty... And Phoenix has something to fight for, trying to increase their standings. So all of the games going down the stretch mean something. Absolutely. And, and this is something that the Liberty, they're learning. A young team trying to figure things out. And this experience is going to make them stronger in the long run. Tomorrow night, the Red Hot Yankees continue their playoff push as they head west to Oakland to kick off a four-game series against the A's. Coverage starts at 8.30 on Yes and streaming on the Yes app. So I just got a text message from Becky the Hammond <laughs> who mentioned that we did not mention one of the best clutch shooters in the league that she's ever had as well. 
I'm, I'm gonna go and to think that she's talking about herself okay. right here. <laughs> I love that you have Becky D. Hammond. Becky D. Hammond, yes. That's very, very appropriate. Again, that's... one of the members of the Ring of Honor. Tremendous coach right now as well. Appreciate her watching as the rookie, Michaela Onyanwe. They knocked it down from the corner. Liberty, they made their last six shots. Approaching two minutes to go in this third quarter. Mike Brady has a big battle. Appreciate you joining us tonight. As in, oh, the Diggins Smith lead that one short. Here comes Ionescu. And Liberty get another bucket. Laney, no, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Tyler Shook. Oh, uh, she was talking about T-Rod being clutch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, let me get it right. Let me uh, get it right. Let me uh, get it right. <laughs> Let me get it right. This I was is, gonna say you guys that she she would text you to brag on herself. Like this is this is this is more yeah. this is one this is one <laughs> trivia that I'm screwing up. <laughs> but the the later trivia, I think I got it. Oh, you think you got I it? I think I got it. All right, we're gonna come back to tonight's Liberty on ES trivia question of the night. In just a moment, it's Reiner staying with it, puts it through. Brian has been big time all season. She's got 22, seven, to make that eight rebounds now, and six assists. She's been tremendous. Oh, also has a dunk in the game as well. Laney, outside. Can Didi hit another one? Yes, she can! This is getting ridiculous from the rookie. Didi said, I, I take the challenge of replacing Sammy in <laughs> Sammy's threes tonight. <laughs> if you just joined us on the broadcast, Sammy Wickham is not going to play. She's going to be out the next 10 to 14 days. She's leading the WNBA in three-point shooting. So, again, not playing tonight. And Didi Richards, she's been red hot since the Olympic break, has been knocking down big-time threes in this contest. Four already. It's Sabrina Ionescu drawing the foul to go to the free throw line. I mean, she's, she's right around Sammy's average right now, so... We'll see if she can keep it going. Five for six shooting in this game. Four for five three-point range for the rookie, Dita Richards. Career high, 14 points. And the one that she missed was a heave at the end of the shot clock. I feel like that one shouldn't even count. I feel like that one shouldn't even count. That, that, should we should count. just take that off. She almost made that one. She did, actually. <laughs> almost a bank shot. Lady and only way they take a seat. Is Nay Odom, Rebecca Allen back into the ball game. Another free throw for Ionescu. 82 to 68. Game still within reach. Phoenix, they've had some lulls in this game that's created an opportunity for New York to make a run. But it's currently a 14-point advantage. For the Mercury, left hand, no, from Tarasi, out of bounds. It'll stay with the Mercury. 14 on the shot clock. Phoenix shooting 57% for the game. It's tough to beat a team when when they're shooting nearly 60% from the field. Uh, we talked about the big threes, two headed position. Big three for New York, big three for Phoenix. As Tarasi firing away, no good. She does have... 18 points in this one, 24 for Griner, 22 for Skylar diggins -Pick. And Sebra made a really great point earlier saying that the Liberty has to play better defense. If they want to do well and compete down the stretch, they have to play better defense. Tough shot for Ionescu to close the third quarter, won't fall. And at the end of three, 82 to 68. 17-6 run to close the quarter by the Liberty. Crystal Robinson. As Becky Hammond texted, one of the best clutch shooters for the <laughs> Liberty. Ring of Honor ceremony, beautiful for C-Rob. Back in a Liberty fans, if you haven't downloaded the Yes app yet, now's the perfect time. In addition to streaming Liberty games live wherever you go, the app also has video highlights, post-game player interviews, special features, and much more, including live Yankees games and the free-to-play Yes Pick and Play game. Just scan the QR code on the screen to download the Yes app now.
Michael Grady, Ashley Battle getting ready to start fourth quarter action. 82 69. There was an adjustment on the score. They added a point, makes it a 13 point game as we head into the fourth quarter. Really fast start to the second half by Phoenix, and then slowly but surely the Liberty chipped away. 17 6 run to close that third quarter. The Avon gets things started in a positive way for the Mercury, extending the lead to 15. It was a laney field goal, by the way, in that third quarter. I was originally called the two, they changed to a three. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, but you'd really like to see the Liberty come out and get a stop and a score and not trade baskets with Phoenix. 84-71. And contact inside. It's going to be a foul. They'll call that on Nate Odom. Second year player. That is her first. She's seen it push. Her minutes are going down, but with Sammy Whitcomb out, she's seen some time in this game. And 16 minutes already. Tarazi! Another triple for Diana Tarazi. Up to 21 points now. She makes it look easy, doesn't she? Way too easy. Riley <laughs> Shook. Double teamed inside. Didi, she has been special in this game, but misses that shot attempt. Rare miss for Didi. Rossi always in control. Never sped up. Cunningham on the drive. Push shot. No. Rebound. Lane. Liberty need a big time push. As you pointed out, actually, they need some stops. That won't fall. They owed him with the offensive board and draws the foul. As you mentioned, they're going to need some stops to get back into this game. And that means, you know, upping the physicality a little bit on the defensive side. Absolutely. You got to up the physicality. And also, you got to know where the shooters are at all times. And Diana, in particular, you can't take your eyes off of her and get caught ball watching because she's going to make you pay every time. Kylie Shook, no good on the three point attempt. 67 combined points between Phoenix's big three of Skylar Diggins, Smith, Diana Tarazi, and Brittany Griner. Go on. The rest of the team, 20 points, make it 22 as Kia Vaughn knocks down the mid range J. And this is again veteran leadership. The way Phoenix has started in the fourth quarter, very similar to the way they started the third quarter. Sending a message in the early going. 18 point advantage. Tough possession right here. It's going to end with an outside three from Rebecca Allen. Bailed out right there. Really had nothing going on that possession. They really did it. And sometimes you need a little luck on your side. Tarazi. Ten seconds to work with. Oh, she just pulls it deep. That <laughs> won't go down. Rebecca Allen with the rebound and go the other way. I think everybody expected that was the ball from Tarazi, the way her night's going. Absolutely. And, you know, she's not, yeah, I mean, she's been shooting Steph Curry shots before Steph Curry. <laughs> Lady with the tough shot. Rebound to Rossi. Seven minutes to go in regulation. Big lead for the Mercury. It's the second. Of three meetings between these two teams. Liberty won the first. Don't meet again in a couple of days here at Barclays Center for the final meeting of the season. Cunningham wide open. Too strong. Battle for the board. Out of bounds. It'll stay with the Mercury. You take a look at this last bas basket by Rebecca Allen. They're going to need more of Rebecca Allen making more shots, taking more shots. I don't even think she's taken a lot of shots uh, today thus far. And she took a lot in the first quarter. It's been quiet since. She does have nine points in the game. Reiner, double team. Outside, former Liberty Cartier nurse. Can't get that one to fall. And now it's Allen. Ah, called for steps. 
haven't seen Natasha Howard in a while. She's played 17 minutes in the game. That's the fewest of the Liberty starters. She's got 17 points to boards. I haven't seen her in a while. Nurse looking for Griner inside. He's got to make a move on Kylie Shook. Pass stolen by Rebecca Allen. Allen leading the team in blocks and steals this season. And that's good. This is Shook screen. Fires from deep. That one won't fall. Liberty shooting under 40% from three-point range. Not bad. 12 to 30 before that shot is done. Rossi off balance. That's a no. Five and a half minutes to go in regulation. Tarasi picking up the foul there. That's just her second. We have a timeout. 89-74 with 529 to go in regulation here on the 529 to go in regulation here on the S. Mercury leading the Liberty. 89-74. Michael Grady, Ashley Battle here with you. It's time for our Liberty on the S. Trivia question and our answer reveal. Crystal Robinson added to the Ring of Honor tonight is sixth on the franchise steals list with 232. Who are the top five players? Ashley, we know you take it seriously. I do. Um, I do. I know you used all of your lifeline. I did. I did. What's you got? All What's right. Got? We got Teaspoon. Okay. Becky Hammond. BJ. Tari Phillips. And Lori Moore. All right. Let's see the answer reveal. Drum roll. And. Oh! Killed it. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! You can't stop the swami! You can't stop the swami! <laughs> you can't stop Rebecca Allen either! <laughs> I, I really wish the camera was rolling on us right now. <laughs> oh! See, you look like the entire Liberty Squad when Teresa, Teresa Witherspoon hit that shot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I gotta give some shout outs though. I gotta give some shout outs. Because my peeps on Twitter have my back on this one. We got Tracy, one one size. You know, you guys came through in the clutch, so I really appreciate you oh. And Hoots X Gal X3 came through in the clutch. Thank Come you. Come on, man. I'm giving love to everybody that was in on the group project. Oh! Everybody got an A. Under five minutes to go. In regulation, it's 89 to 77. Yonescu trying to make a move, takes it outside. Laney, stop, pop, yes! It's a 10-point game. This one is far from over. I you can already see the defensive intensity picking up the Liberty. I gotta calm down. I'm so hyped right now for the trivia. Outside shot. Oh, Kia Nurse, big time answer to that Laney bucket. Laney with 16 points in the second half is back to a 13 point advantage for the Mercury. Still plenty of time, a little more than four minutes to go. Yonescu. I would like to say that this is a perfect opportunity for my UConn champ. <laughs> UC! Oh! 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 Right there. As the Notre Dame Irish. <laughs> gets the block. Brianna Turner. Tarasi. Oh, man. Makes it for Rebecca Allen. And oh, Brittany Brown. This is a nice answer right here. Five quick points for the Mercury after the Liberty cut it to 10. 94 79 now. Dr. Howard back in the game. 10 seconds to work with. Unesco trying to make a play on Diggins Smith. Inside Laney. Step back. And that one won't fall. Rare miss for Laney in the second half. Mercury back in firm control. Liberty needs to stop. Turner lays it in. Beautiful pass to Diana Tarazi. And again, big time answer by this veteran Mercury squad. 50 points in the paint now for the Mercury in this game.
you have Tarasi off the dribble, playing with Rebecca Allen right here, passing it to, Re to BG for the deuce. Back to live action inside Barkley Center. 96-79 advantage for the Mercury. They've been in control really throughout the game. Liberty, they've had their runs, but leaning on the play of Diana Tarazi, Skylar Dickens-Smith, and of course, Brittany O'Brien. Mercury doing that thing. Deep one from Howard. See, we've seen the Liberty settle for a number of those. Credit Phoenix's defense. Absolutely. Phoenix has been playing terrific defense and clogging up paint with Brittany Griner and the perimeter defense with Kia Nurse has been absolutely unbelievable. Working the ball around, great ball movement, digging Smith. I Arthur. Three ball corner pocket, 99-79, back to a 20-point game. It was cut to a 10-point advantage for Phoenix just moments ago. What a big-time run by Phoenix. Approaching two minutes to go. Allen, no good on the three. You look at the standings in the WNBA. Phoenix looking up at Minnesota, Seattle, Las Vegas, and Connecticut. With the top record right now in the WNBA, there's another bucket over the century mark now for Phoenix, a team that averages around 80 points a game. Diddy Richards can't get that layup to fall. Brittany Griner is down. And this does not look good. Yeah, we can hear her in pain from the floor, even from our spot here in Barclay Center. And it is quiet. It looks like she's grabbing her ankle. And... Tell she's in a lot of pain. Having num number another tremendous season. On the second gold medal, you hear the applause as she comes to her feet. She has 26 points tonight, nine rebounds, six assists. It's a tough tumble there. She gets help off the floor. Put just a little, not much weight on that foot as she steps out of the arena. Let's take a look at the replay here and see what we see, Ashley. You see Dee Dee going in, and as she comes down. Ooh, tough roll there on the left foot. She rolls her ankle. She lands right on Dee Dee's foot, and it, that looks a little painful. 101 79 is our score with 138 to go. You hate Just to, talking about. You hate to see this with 138 left to go, and Phoenix is doing really well. They're up 20. You know, maybe thinking now, get some people out of the game. Playing so well, they've won four games in a row in control to win their fifth in a row. We're just talking about the standings, and you have an opportunity to. You know, make a run in Minnesota, get that fourth spot perhaps, which will give them at least a buy in the first round of the WNBA playoffs. But when you have Skylar Diggins Smith, Brittany Griner, Danny Taraji on the squad, I mean, you can make a run at another title for sure. Hey, hey, hey. But all the concern right now is on Brittany Griner and that ankle after turning it just moments ago. Minute 15 to go in regulation here. Natasha Howard. Step through, that shot won't fall. Rebound to Turner. Timeout. 20 second timeout, 20. It's been a 12-0 run by the Mercury since the Liberty cut it to a 10-point deficit. Take a look here at the standings. Again, I mentioned you have, you have talent, you have star players, you're gonna have an opportunity to win a championship, but the top three teams there, Ashley. That's tough. My goodness. That is tough, tough, tough. And you have the sun, the aces, and the storm, and all three of those teams have been in the last finals, really. So they are looking to uh, continue that streak <laughs> um, going into this postseason. It is going to be fun to see how things shape up. 
And after all the struggles and from a season ago from the New York Liberty, awfully young team, the moves they made in the offseason, bringing Laney in, Natasha Howard. I mean, they've got an opportunity to play in that single game elimination first round of the WNBA playoffs and get a taste of the postseason. They're going to have to finish the regular season strong for sure. Currently seven in the WNBA standings. And they'll face the Mercury again in the next outing, so things not getting any easier. Push shot falls for Betty. 103 79. Again, Mercury over the century mark. Natasha Howard with an air ball there. And another three ball for the Phoenix Mercury. That's from Alana Smith. 12th three pointer of the game for the Mercury. They're just making everything up. <laughs> Check in, they keep firing away. Shot clock off. Phoenix will hold. Another win for them. Five wins in a row for the Mercury. Concerned still with Brittany Griner, who left the game at the 138 mark after turning her ankle. This evens up the season series now at a game apiece, and they'll meet for the third and final time in the next outing right back here at Barclays Center. Another important one for the New York Liberty. Absolutely. They have to get this win because right now everything is kind of slipping, slipping away, and the Liberty has the opportunity to control their own destiny. So you, they still have a chance to remain in the playoff contention, but they, they're going to have to win a couple games. Mercury awfully tough down the stretch. The Liberty did cut it to 10 in the fourth quarter, but the Mercury went on a 17-0 run to end the game. That wraps it up from Barclays Center. Once again, the final score, the Mercury 106, the Liberty 79. Join us again next Thursday, September 2nd, when the New York Liberty face off against the Seattle Storm. Coverage begins at 10 p.m. on the S Network and streaming on the Yes app. For Ashley Battle and our entire Yes Network crew, I'm Michael Grady saying so long, everyone, and we will see you next time.